Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for the Sabbath, Sabbath, Sabbath that He has created for us. Hallelujah. That is good for us. We thank God for His goodness. Hallelujah. Let's just enter in and press in. Handora Pahasi, wherever you are, wherever you are, Shikandara Pahasi, this is the day that the Lord has made. Hando Pahasi, we rejoice and are glad in it. Homasatara Pahasi, glory, 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 glory to the only wise God. Glory, 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 glory to the only risen God. Glory to the King of Kings. Glory to the Lord of Lords. Glory to the great I am. Come on, come on, come on. Hamashatara Bahasi. We give him glory because he's worthy. We give him glory because he's God and God alone. There's none like you. God bless you, woman of God. We give him glory because he's holy. We give him glory because he's righteous. We give him glory because he is. Is the great I am. We give him glory because there's no God like him. From everlasting to everlasting he is. We can't come expecting to receive from the glory streams and we don't shout out giving him glory. God, you're still worthy. God, you're still holy. God, you're still mighty. God, there's still none like you. From everlasting to everlasting you are. You are holy the king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle blessed be your name in the earth in this land america where everything wants to vie for a place as a god we still say you and you alone are god we still say god from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same your name is worthy lord jesus to be exalted we still, oh God, Shabak you. We still barack you. The rocks will not cry out for us. Oh God, we are in this world, but not of it. We are the light in this world. Shandarahasi, we are the light of the world, God. We cannot be hidden because you have chosen us um, even for such a time as this. Oh God, to be conduits of your glory. But Father, we will take no vain glory. We will be careful, God. We will be deliberate we will be disciplined and conditioned to glorify you to glorify you to glorify you to glorify you we are late getting on uh schedule <laughs> mix up my husband forgot to tell me that the pest control was coming in today and it was right at the time when we were supposed to go live but you know what we got them situated and we say we have to continue on with the work of god with the work of ministry and let that be an encouragement to somebody listen the diversions will come the potential for distraction will come the potential for oh my god discouragement will come you cannot let it get in the way of being found doing that which god has called and unctioned you to do beloved in this hour it is critical that you know what god has called you to do what he's chosen you to do what he is directing and instructing for you to do and if we do nothing else that we remain in alignment with his will who is my mother? Who is my father? These are Jesus' words in Matthew. But he who does the will of my father. There are few who are sold out to the will of God. There are few who are yoked and bound to the will of God in this hour. There's the will of man. There's the will of pride. There's the, the vain glory, the glory of man that we're seeking after. But beloved, there is a realm of glory. There is such more, much, much more precious, so much richer, my God, so much more glorious. That when we taste of it, when we truly tr taste of it, when we truly take a sip, oh my God, of the riches of his glory, no other 
the glory stream will satisfy. So even now, can we pray for those who have yet to taste of the goodness of his glory? God, in the name of Jesus, open America to the goodness of your glory, not the goodness of a church, not the goodness of, oh God, leaders, but the goodness of Jehovah God, the goodness of the God of the Jew and the Gentile, the goodness of Elohim, the goodness of El Elyon, the goodness of El Shaddai, the all-sufficient God. A man lacks, a man is insufficient, a man's power is limited. My God, Namibia, God bless you. Welcome, welcome. I am your sister from Gambia. Glory be to God, but in the land of the USA, Mandarahasi by way, oh God, of Jesus, of commissioning. Ah, God, 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 God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Let's go back to the word in Colossians 1.27. Even as we're entering with prayer that God had spoken on last week. God, that this nation, that the people, even the land of America, my, my the land of Africa, my birth land, and the nation of America, my son's birth land, oh God. That we will know the riches of the glory. Father, we want nothing else. First and foremost, you are preeminent. We will seek your glory first. We will seek your kingdom first. We will seek your righteousness first. But God makes us, make us conduits through which other people can see and taste, oh God. And thirst and hunger, there is a greater glory than the glory of man. So we yield and submit to it, O oh God. And it is in Christ Jesus, Colossians 1.27. And the hope and guarantee of realizing that glory remains Jesus the Christ. Not a title. Not a platform. Not a pulpit. They all have their place. But it remains through the King of glory. The Lord strong and mighty, Yeshua Jesus. And so we ask now, God, for your presence to be upon this time of gathering and prayer. Even as your prophetic healing room is open. That your streams of glory will far outweigh the problems, the attacks, the infirmities, the afflictions of your people, that that issue that they come with today, that problem, that situation, that calamity, that hardship gone, that it comes into collision with the weight, the kabod, and the ducks of the power of your glory. And it ushers them to a place of rest and peace, a place of dominion, a place, oh God. Pray in the spirit with me for a moment. Glory streams, glory streams. He's opening them even now. Portals, Kimasi streams. He's opening them even now in the name of Jesus. God, and we receive, we open up ourselves to this new stream of glory. We open up our household. We open up our nations. We open up our bloodline. God, we stand in proxy. We stand, oh God, in the place, oh God, of those who refuse to yield. And we say, flow glory of God. Let the stream of glory, God, infiltrate and permeate, God, across racial, denominational, ethnic, economic, generational and ancestral lines, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh Jesus, the spirit of the Lord is here, the spirit of the Lord is here, the spirit of the living God, 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 have your way, have your way, have your way, God. Break through for your people. Manarahasi, let them know, taste, see, feel, oh God, and receive the weight, oh God, of your glory. Long after this broadcast, oh God, in the name of Jesus, 
We rest in your glory now. We settle ourselves in your glory now, God. Ramati Andorosia. Yet we anchor ourselves to your glory, God. We anchor ourselves to your glory, God. Shando Komahasi. We anchor ourselves to your glory. That's the word for somebody. We anchor ourselves to your glory. Mando Korapahasi. We anchor ourselves to your glory. Come on, get detached from whatever it is you need to get detached from right now. In the name of Jesus, whatever glory, Kamandarahasia, has connected itself to you and has given itself prominence and dominion over your life. Disconnect from it now in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Disconnect from it and connect fully and connect fully to the glory of God right now. Right now in the name of Jesus Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Throw your your way around. Manda, enforce your way, God, until your people are anchored exclusively to your glory. There is birthing in the glory of God. Whatever we need is in his glory. So, woman of God, receive. It's not in me. It's in his glory. It's not in the prophetic. It's in his glory. We are just the conduits of it. Whatever we need. But I hear God specifically saying, disengage, disconnect from that glory. Oh, my son, Lord, I see that you have given so much weight and power to. And return to the glory of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we magnify you. And Father, we glorify you. Do what only you can do. Do what only you can do. Do what only you can do, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. See, he is not sharing his glory with any man. He is not sharing his glory with anyone. He is not sharing his glory. Doesn't matter how high we esteem them. God is saying disconnect, disengage. Oh my God, I feel that so strongly from every other thing that's trying to vie for glory for that seed of glory in your life for God whoever this is for and whenever they receive this I thank you in advance I thank you in advance I thank you in advance God oh God that the, you will throw the weight of your glory around so much so God that nothing else can anchor your people in the name of Jesus we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. God is a jealous God. He's a jealous God in the sense that we can have no other gods before him. We shall have no other God before him. Mandarahasi, everything vying for the glory seat in your life is dismantled and disconnected and uprooted and removed from you right now. In the name of Jesus, I can't even move forth with this thing. Mandarahasi, until that is released, until that clarion call is received with a seriousness in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, my God, my God. No, my Sata witchcraft, the Lord rebuke you. Generational curses. You will no longer take the seed of glory in the lives of the people of God. Fear. For the weight of the glory of God now. Consumes arrest and surrounds you. Let your glory be enthroned over our lives, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. My God, my God, my God. We're going to go to the word quickly. It's a quick revelation and I just want to pray. The Lord said open up the prophetic healing room. And release the glory streams. Just give them the word and the instructions. Bless you, woman of God. 
Raba si steer up the weight of glory. Oh my God. Remandera si steer up the weight of glory and cause my people, prophet, mande kerapa si to align with it, to be reignited, to be re empowered, to be excited again about what my glory can do. Mande kerapa si kianda bahasia. So here I am, yielded. Here I am. Kora mandara hasia. Sito. We cannot deviate. We will not deviate from the word of the Lord in this hour. We're not worried about likes and followers and cheers. All we know is when God comes. When God searches the earth, he will find us in position. He will find us fulfilling our mandates, our kingdom mandates and our assignments. He will find us in alignment. He will find us on that narrow path. He will find us. In position and in posture. To receive and to release. God help me today. He will find us in the position and the right posture to receive and to release his glory in the name of Jesus. And so it is. So it is. There was a revelation he gave earlier this week and I was so excited and wanted to share it but he said not yet daughter. Not yet. He said not yet. To everything there is a time and a season. So whoever this word was for and is for in this season receive in the name of Jesus glory streams in the blood of Jesus there are glory streams in the blood of Jesus listen we're moving from uh, understanding to understanding from a realm of wisdom to the next realm we're moving from glory to glory but the word God spoke was specific he said tell my people and I have a demonstration Tell my people to give the blood of Jesus dominion. If we want to access the glory streams in the blood of Jesus, we have to give the blood of Jesus dominion. Did you catch that? If we want to access the glory streams, glory, we know means weight, kabad, and that's a power. Well, God said you can't access it in every area of your life because you haven't given my blood, the realm, that realm of my glory, dominion. And so when this revelation came about, I was praying with uh, one of my prayer partners. And God began to show me how since I've been in Texas, it was exactly six months and a day since I had been in, in Texas. On that day, we were praying. And God has shown me how I haven't had to go to urgent care or the emergency room or have any kind of medical flare-up that necessitated that kind of medical intervention. Glory be to God. Glory. Listen, Zion. Mando Kora Bahasi. God is not only having us preach and teach and prophesy. We are conduits. If we're going to open you and give you the key to a realm of glory. If we're going to give you understanding about a realm of glory in this hour, God bless you, Sister Harriet, Minister Harriet. It's only because we have walked in that realm. And as I was praying about another prayer request, God began to show me. He said, daughter, the only reason you haven't had need of the urgent care or emergency room medicine it's because you've given my blood dominion. Mando kora bahasia. Sitara mandere hosi. What does dominion mean? Dominion is the right to govern. Mando roko bahasi. Tirera bahasi. Dominion, dominion, dominion. Kora give my blood dominion. If we want to access the glory streams in the blood of Jesus and off the blood of Jesus, help me to the Holy Ghost. We have to give the blood dominion. 
Mandorohosia. So the problem becomes me Kandiahasia. When we get ill or you have a, a migraine and you feel an attack in your body, Mandarahasi, you begin to give that attack dominion. You begin to allow your body to become so powerless. You allow your spirit, because the flesh is already weak. Let the flesh be weak. But never engage and entertain that weakness in the spirit. The spirit is willing. You have to allow your spirit woman and your spirit man to give dominion to the blood of Jesus. So what I God said it showed me, he said the only reason you didn't end up hospitalized when the attack came, Mandarahasi, and one in particular was severe to the point where I needed help walking. I had become so lightheaded and dizzy, almost to the point of passing out and fainting. But what I began to do, God showed me in that instant, he said, because daughter, you begin to give dominion to the blood of Jesus. I, even though I couldn't get out of bed, even though Mandarahasi, my physical body was under attack, I began to give dominion to the blood of Jesus. Monday, I didn't even make the connection until this week, praying with one of my prayer partners. See, God said, because you gave the blood dominion, daughter. It began to govern the attack. It began to govern the situation. What dominion? Dominion means to govern. Mandarahasi to geek. Or mandarahasi to govern. So I chose in that moment. God began to show me. I'd never understood this or seen this before. He said what happened is the blood entered into that situation. And because you gave the blood dominion. Because you didn't give the, the physical attack dominion. Because you didn't give the situation dominion. Because you gave my blood dominion. My blood now was able to govern the situation. My blood now was able, the glory stream in my gut blood, my, the weight of glory in my blood began to now be enforced over that thing. Oh God help me this afternoon. And all I kept doing was warring and praying with the blood and calling on the blood of Jesus, pleading the blood of Jesus, applying the blood of Jesus. God bless you prophet Sherry. Just the blood, the blood, the blood. I refuse. It's not the dominion of our God and everlasting dominion. That's what it says in Daniel 4. The dominion of the blood of Jesus is an everlasting dominion. When we give the blood dominion, it outweighs, it overpowers, it defeats, it conquers, it overcomes. But the problem we're having with the people of God and the lack of knowledge. And the lack of revelation is causing us to give dominion to entities we shouldn't give dominion to. Some of you are giving the Supreme Court the dominion over what happened. No, baby. Manarahasi, it was the blood of Jesus Man, that overcame the evil called abortion in the land. Rebahasi, until you counsel. God, help me, help me, help me. Until you counsel a woman who's in an abusive relationship and marriage that's been forced to have an abortion until you cancel the young lady who got pregnant out of wedlock. Yes, that was wrong. But it's not an unforgivable sin who was forced to have an abortion. You don't understand the dominion of darkness. That is in some families. There are pastors. There are churches. There are men of God who impregnate women and force them to get an abortion so they don't have that stain on their ministry. All that wickedness all that witchcraft, that altar of Molech, the cause for blood, the blood of babies to be shed. The blood intervened because we gave the blood of Jesus dominion. What is God saying? I'm willing and I'm ready to open unto you a realm of glory, a stream of glory. That you truly have not fully. Maybe we have tasted of it in seasons. Bless you, woman of God. But if you're like me, I'm tired of seasonal breakthrough and seasonal anointing and seasonal power. I'm done with it. I'm not tired. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, you're done with that. There is no way God says that we're supposed to go from glory to glory and strength to strength and exploit to exploit. And we're still in the same position spiritually and physically. There's got to be fruit. 
See, there's got to be manifestation that when I begin to apply the blood of Jesus, see, that attack dies because it, I have given dominion to the blood. I'm not giving dominion to the bloodline disease and curse. I'm not giving dominion to the sins of the nation. I'm not giving dominion to the strength of a, oh my God, of a political party. Listen, Democrats, Republicans, Independents, and whatever a party is going to come after them does not have dominion over our lives. The government is upon the shoulders of the Son of God. They can do whatever they do, but when we get into position as citizens of this land in the United States of America, as citizens, for those of us with dual citizenship of our birth nations, when we get in position and give the blood of Jesus dominion over that land there is not a witch a warlock a dictator a political party a police chief a governor and anything in between that can rule and govern over us glory streams in my blood God said I'm waiting if you want this level of glory you have to give me dominion full dominion complete dominion you have to give me the right to govern your lives you have to give my blood the right to govern your life dominion means the right to govern you have to give my word the right to govern your lives you have to give my spirit the right to govern your lives I don't even have no sisters the Holy Spirit talking you have to give my God my God, Mandoro Hosi, my anointing, the right to govern your life. You church, you intercessor, you pastor, you prophet, you husband, your wife, you parent. Kandora Bahasi, you intercessor, you intercessor, give me the right to govern, not your prayers, but me. You are just a conduit for the glory stream. Oh, God, 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 don't you understand? When we give God the dominion, when we give the blood of Jesus dominion, our reward is greater dominion. Hear me clear, when you give the blood dominion, your reward is greater dominion and greater works. The only way we can do greater works and have greater dominion is because of the blood. The blood guaranteed it. The blood is the guarantor by way of the new and better covenant. But we don't see the fruit of the new and better covenant. We don't see the glory that is locked up. That is reserved. That Oh my God. We don't see the glory that is only accessed and accessible to those who have given the blood dominion and the right to govern their lives we don't see it because if we be honest we'll sit there and give a prophetic word dominion we'll sit there mando and give us something else dominion but when we truly give the blood that redeemed us if the blood can release the glory of eternal life, if the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, can give us access to the weight and the power of eternal life, how much more? How much more can it do while we are yet here and alive in this earth? We, we, we have to move out of all programming, all thinking, all patterns and all cycles that are literally killing us. We're running from doctor to doctor, trying medication after medication. We have given so much dominion to this world system, to pharmacare, to medicine. It has its place. We've even given so much dominion to people of God. And as much as I love leaders and leadership, I'm one of them. As much as I love the fivefold and even the prophetic, man, that is my gift and my grace. I cannot give that dominion over the master prophet Jesus, over the chief cornerstone. 
I cannot and we cannot. We have to get deprogrammed and deconditioned. People of God, hear me. Share this. I don't ask you to share much because I don't care about shares and likes. But share this. Share this and loose the people. Share this and be a conduit through the glory stream that is locked up. That is so, oh my God, contained. Contained in the blood of Jesus is loosened to Christendom. Is released to Christendom. Listen, when you give the blood of Jesus. Jesus dominion over your life your shadow can heal the sick when you give the blood of Jesus you become a stream a portal an entry point through which people can access his glory yeah, even the glory that's contained in the voice of the blood God was determined to have me understand this so I had to walk through it before I can preach it and teach it to you he said daughter when the attack come do you give them all the blood dominion tell my people to give the blood of Jesus dominion the next time an attack comes the next time the warfare and opposition comes the next time yea God Yea, God, yea, God. Uh, do not spend a moment giving that thing dominion. Reinforce, open up your mouth in your atmosphere in that situation, in the doctor's room, in the hospital room. Manarahasi at the bedside of a loved one. Manarahasi, whether it's a child that's dealing, your child dealing with a crisis, a family member, a neighbor, a friend, even an enemy. You be the one. Who will stand in the gap for them and give the blood dominion over that attack and that situation in the name of Jesus? I'm gonna say it again. When the sickness comes, do you give the sickness dominion or do you give the blood of Jesus dominion? We're talking about the blood of the Lamb. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Hebrews 12 24. And to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. If you give the blood dominion, it'll speak a better word than cancer. It'll speak a better word than autoimmune disease. It'll speak a better word than generational and ancestral curses. It will speak a better word than deception and false prophecy and lies. Mandorahasi and apostasy. If you give the blood of Jesus dominion, if you let it rule, Mandarahasi and governor, if you give it the right to rule and govern your life, it will speak a better thing. Come on, woman of God. It will speak a better thing. Mandarahasi and a better word. Stop wanting everybody to speak over you and to release a word and begin to give dominion to the blood of Jesus. Can we do it right now and ask the blood to speak for you. Uh, Father, we thank you for this revelation. We thank you for this realm of glory. We thank you for this shift, um, oh God, and this propelling uh, into another dimension of your glory, uh, into another dimension of your glory stream, even the glory stream in the blood of Jesus. I want you to take a moment. So begin to honestly, in every area of your life, in every area of your life, you have to give us dominion right now. You have to relinquish any right and control you think you have to your life. Any life and control you think you have over your children, in your marriage, in your business, in your ministry, I'm calling you now. I'm charging you now by the Spirit of God to relinquish it and begin now to give dominion to the blood of Jesus. Give dominion even to the voice of the blood of Jesus and as we pray together we are praying now for the sprinkled blood to speak a better word for us we reverence you God your blood to the sprinkled blood of Jesus, the sprinkled blood of the only Lamb of God. The Lamb that was slain, not just 
for the remission of our sins, as weighty as that glory is. There are more realms and dimensions of the glory that's contained in your blood that you want us to access. So we still ourselves, we humble ourselves, and we give complete and total dominion to the blood of Jesus. God, you don't force dominion in our lives. You're looking for that humble believer. You're looking for that humble man and woman of God. You're looking for that humble intercessor. You're looking for the one that would bend their knee, God, and bend their heart, bend their will, God, bend their anointing, God, bend their gift, bend their office, God, before you, oh God, and say, God, I give complete, total, and irrevocable dominion to you, Lord Jesus. I give complete, total, and irrevocable dominion to the name of Jesus. I give complete, total, and irre irrevocable dominion to the blood of Jesus. Come on. I give the blood dominion in every area of your life. God revealed to us areas we have kind of, oh God, pull back and not want you to have dominion, but today is the day on this 25th day of June 2022 we relinquish our right to control and govern we give all dominion all power all power all dominion to you oh god she can do Sekira Mandera Hasia. Oh my God. We give our bloodline, Rabba Hasia, to you. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our bloodline. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our bloodline. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our bloodline. Mando Koba Hasia. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our bloodline. Come on, stay there with me. Manda Karaba Hasi, Kerana Mahasi. The only reason. Some in the bloodline will not perish is if you give the blood of Jesus dominion. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our bloodline in the name of Jesus. Komasa. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our maternal and paternal bloodline. We give our blood of the blood of Jesus dominion over our lineage. We give the blood of Jesus dominion, even it can go back. It can go back and have dominion and take dominion over the animal ancestral bloodline. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our nation that we live in America. We give the blood of dominion of Jesus. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our birth nations. Gambia, Senegal, Man, every nation I have a family member. Ghana, Mando Kora Bahasi, Sweden, the United Kingdom. Mando Rabahasi, Kiana Mahasa, Rebandia, Setera Bahasi. We give the blood of Jesus dominion right Right now, in the name of Jesus, oh God, oh God, oh God. Yield, 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 and give it dominion. Mandara, every area, and now we begin to repent. You have to repent now for whatever you've given dominion over the blood of Jesus. Repent now. Mande kira bahasi for whatever space, whatever area. Mandara hasi, whatever, oh my God, ministry. You've given dominion more than you've given. Mando kora bahasi. I see dominion to the blood of Jesus for whatever diagnosis, whatever diagnosis, whatever diagnosis you've given more dominion than, oh God, to than the dominion of the blood of Jesus. We pray right now, God, in the name of Jesus. We pray right now, God, in the name of Jesus. We repent in the name of Jesus. We pray and ask for mercy. Oh God, remember mercy in judgment. Don't hold it against your people. But even now in the name of Jesus we return full dominion, full power, full control to the blood of Jesus. And as we do so, God, you're throwing the weight of your glory. Your kabat and your doctor are colliding in that situation. You're throwing, oh God, you're consuming and combining the weight to Korah the Kabada of your glory and the power, the daksha of your glory that is contained in your blood and is working for your people. 
even now in the name of Jesus, it's overcoming. Even now in the name of Jesus, Komandarahasia, it's overcoming. Even now in the name of Jesus, Komandarakahasia, it's overcoming. Even now in the name of Jesus, every entity, God, every group, oh God, any curse, oh God, Mandarahasi, any witchcraft, oh God, all sickness, all iniquity, Mandarahasi, all deception, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, that has dominion and that has taken dominion and governing rights and control over our lives. It is being God destroyed now. It is being overcome now. It is being trampled upon now. It is being disarmed now. In the name of Jesus, and the voice of the blood is speaking better things. Then the voice of man, then the voice of an ancestry, then the voice of a race, even then the voice of a nation, in the name of Jesus, come on Zion, pray pray until the voice of the blood, Ramandarahasi thunders again, the voice Komandahasi of any false prophet you may have given dominion to in the past pray, pray, pray Zion repent and pray realign and pray and receive now we receive now every blessing of giving dominion to the blood of Jesus. We receive now the glory and the glory streams. We, oh God, seal and set our bloodline, our legacy and our lineage in the glory stream of your blood. We receive every blessing that flows from the glory stream of your blood. We receive now, God, Mandarahasi, the power, the dark that is contained in the blood of Jesus because we've given it dominion. You don't need the permission of a spouse. You don't need the permission of an auntie, a parent, or, oh God, a family member. You, because of our prayer and our repentance, God, now have full, total, and irrevocable, oh God, dominion, power, and control over the bloodline. And this is what the blood is going to do. Rabahashi, go with me quickly to Colossians 2.15. Mandarahasi, I want to read it from the Amplified quickly. Mandeke Rabahasia, Shekota Mandeke Namahasi, Torabahasia, Remandarahashi, Korabahasi, give the blood of Jesus dominion. Bless you, woman of God, give the blood of Jesus dominion. Mandarahasi, I block out the noise and the chatter in your life right now. Ram every demand an ungodly influence that has bewitched you, that has seduced you and deceived you into giving them dominion. Mandarahashi, obliterated right now by the blood of Jesus. You have clarity. Clarity is returned to your hearing by the blood of Jesus. Your voice of the blood is amplified in your hearing. You don't yield and give voice to any contrary voice, but the voice of the blood of Jesus now, 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 now. Mandarahashi has as you're hearing again, hear Zion, Colossians 2 15. Um, oh, when he had disarmed, um, he, when he had disarmed the rulers and authorities, those supernatural forces of evil operating against us, uh, he made a public example of them, exhibiting them as captives um, in his triumphant procession, having triumphed over them through the cross. Uh, hear me clearly, people of God, people of God. God, the blood, the blood, the blood, when it was given power, when it is given power after the cross, it has already demonstrated its power on the cross. Speak Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Spirit speaking. I don't have notes. I just have the scripture. I hear God saying by his spirit and his word that my blood demonstrated what it is able to do. The weight and the power that is in my blood was demonstrated on the cross. We like to talk about the finished works of the cross, but do we really understand it? What the blood did on the cross is recorded in Colossians 2.15. One of many scriptures that records the, the weight, the kabbadah, 
and the docks of the power of the blood of Jesus. It disarmed the rulers and powers and authorities. Pilate, Koramandarahasia, the rulers in the Sanhedrin, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, every ruler, every authority that thought they had right and privileges or oh got to the life of Jesus and to the church of Jesus Christ. Mandarahasi, when the blood was shed, Ramandarahasi, when the blood went to work on the cross, it disarmed them. Mandora Karabahasi, or what are those rulers and authorities? They're supernatural first forces of evil operating against the people of God. This is an ancient power and principality. It respects nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing can defeat it but the blood, not your consecration, not your praying and fasting. Mandarakasi, when you're dealing with this level of wickedness and witchcraft, when you're dealing with this rebel level, Korabahasi of darkness and evil, Komandarahasi, you need to have, be in a place where you are sure you've given the blood dominion. The only reason some of us are alive and haven't died because of the work of witchcraft in Africa or America, we haven't died because of their curses, we haven't, oh my God, our bodies haven't withered, Mandarahasi, we're not bedridden, Makiandarahasi, or sick unto death, is because we have chosen to give the blood of Jesus dominion over our lives, so whatever they speak, the voice of the blood counters it on your behalf, it is in Colossians 2 and 15, every supernatural force of evil operating against you in the Amplified can be disarmed and will be disarmed by the blood of Jesus. It de he demonstrated it on the cross. He's still waiting to demonstrate the weight of glory in his blood. He's still waiting to pour out from the glory stream in the blood of Jesus. But the disconnect is that we haven't given the blood dominion. We have not given the blood dominion. But we return full, complete, and irrevocable rights and dominion to the blood of Jesus today. And the same way in Colossians 2 and 15, that the blood made a public example, a, bu a public spectacle of the forces of evil, of the rulers, the principalities and powers. It's waiting to do so on your behalf today. But God can't do it until you, man and woman of God, choose to be the conduit, to be the vessel that will yield, that will surrender and say, God, if I'm the only one in my zip code, if I'm the only one in my state and my town, here my God, here I come, God. The glory of God is waiting to be demonstrated. The weight and the power of the glory stream in the blood of Jesus is waiting to disarm, to dispel, is waiting to triumph over the evil of our day, the demonic and ungodly, wicked mandarahasi and satanic forces operating in our day, ramandarahasi he's just looking for a point of contact in the earth, he's looking for a vessel in the earth we don't need every American to give the blood of Jesus dominion can I help you, we don't even need ramandarahasi every believer to give the blood of Jesus dominion well, we need the ones Hamashia, who are walking on the narrow path. We need the ones whose lives have been sold out. We need the ones who were surrendered. We need the ones who say, I am in this land, America, but not of it. We need the ones who say, because he laid down his life for me. I have offered my body and my life a living sacrifice. And I will continue to give the blood of Jesus dominion and my uprising and my downsetting. Uh, God, I will not relinquish this power. I will not relinquish this dominion. Uh, I give it and leave it exclusively um, uh, to your blood. Uh, my name, my house. Oh God, oh God. Um, 
I pray you get it, Zion. I pray you get it. I pray you believe it. I pray you receive it. I pray that even right now, as you have yielded dominion and given dominion to the blood of Jesus, that the realm of blood, Masatiana Masi, the realm of glory and the stream of glory that will flow from the blood over your household, over over your life will be unprecedented in the name of Jesus that there is a massive disarming there is a massive 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 disarming dislodging uprooting and removing of principalities and powers rulers every evil force that has been successful in operating against your life against your bloodline against your destiny, against your children, against your parents. Every demonic, diabolical, satanic, evil, witchcraft, force, throne, domain, altar that has been successful in operating against our lives. Father, we thank you for this revelation that when we give dominion to the blood of Jesus, the glory streams begin to flow and you begin to disarm and to overcome. We overcome by nothing else, Revelation 12 and 11, but by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. And those saints referenced in Revelation 12 and 11 did not love their lives. I love not their lives unto death. What does that mean? Living a crucified life, dying to the flesh daily was more important. Giving dominion to God, to the kingdom of Je Jehovah, Yeshua HaMashiach. Giving dominion to the blood of the Lamb. They love that more than they love the prominence of this world. They love them more than they love the applause of this world. There's one thing evil recognizes. It recognizes and respects the voice of the blood. There's one thing that makes enemies flee. Demons. An evil one. The evil one himself, Lucifer. It's the blood of Jesus. We thank you today, God, for the shield, the supernatural, impenetrable, overpowering, overcoming, defeating the blood of Jesus. Lord, quicken us after today. If there's any area, any situation, any attack, any report that comes, any opposition, backlash, retaliation, quickness to give dominion in any situation, in every area of our life to your blood. I prophesy now, God, on the authority of this word that your people will give full dominion to the blood of Jesus, the blood of the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. We give dominion over our minds to the blood of Jesus. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our minds. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our physical body. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our DNA. We give the blood of Jesus over our blood type and our bloodline. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our homes, everything you've given us and entrusted ownership of to us, oh God. We give the blood of Jesus full dominion over ministry. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over our calling, our gift. Oh God, we give the blood of Jesus dominion 
dominion over every mandate and vision. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over every household represented here. We give the blood of Jesus dominion over every nation represented here. We give the blood of Jesus dominion or dominion, dominion, dominion over our children. Every son represented here. Every daughter, every grandchild, every future generation. We go ahead of the future generation by prayer. Oh God, and we give the blood of Jesus dominion over their life in the name of Jesus. America, oh Lord God, the sin and the wickedness in this land, the demonic and sick satanic winds in this land will not influence, oh God, and the satanic voices in this land will not influence our children and our bloodline because we give the voice of the blood and the blood of Jesus dominion, oh God, over their lives in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Over the heart that is deceitful and wicked. We give full dominion, God. Ramanda Hasi to the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, take dominion over the hearts of your people. Blood of Jesus, take dominion over the heart of this government. Take dominion over the church, over the heart of the church. The heart of the church, take dominion, blood of Jesus. Kiana Mahasi. Kete Basotora Mahasi. Take dominion. Komandera Mahasi. Total, complete, irrevocable dominion. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for what you've done today, God. Kemandora Mahasi. Shetera Mandora Hoshi. Your people, the elect cannot be fooled. We can't be destroyed for lack of knowledge. Thank you for opening, oh God, the mysteries of your work to us, for giving us understanding. And making us privy to glory stream after glory stream, even the glory contained in your blood. Now that God, we have given your blood full, total, and irrevocable dominion. We thank you that it's gone before us. It's our rear guard. It's gone besides us. There's an engulfing and a governing over our lives by your blood. And we know your blood will not allow evil. We know your blood extinguishes evil. We know your blood overcomes, defeats, and destroys, overpowers evil. So we're not at the mercy of any evil word, entity, being, deed, altar, thought even. We're at the mercy of the blood of Jesus. Yes, woman of God. And we thank you, God. If you understood the magnitude of what God did today, take a moment and give him thanks. We thank you, Jesus. You love us, you love us, you love us, you love us so much that you left your blood, oh God. To keep speaking, to keep overcoming, to keep governing and ruling. To keep shielding and protecting us from evil and the evil one. Thank you for the clarity of the voice of the blood of Jesus above the noise. Thank you for entrusting the glory streams in your blood to us. Thank you for opening fully the glory streams of your blood to us and to those we stand in the gap for to our families. We receive now the riches, the riches, the riches from your glory stream. This glory stream, we soak and we bathe. We, oh God, are thankful and grateful. We reverence you, God. 
God. Mande kepahasia ne kira pahasia. We reverence you, Jehovah. Mande ahamasia. Yeshua hamasia. Kora mande diosia. Kebasia. We reverence you, Jesus. Ye ne de 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 hamasi. Lamb of God. Lamb of God. To the sprinkled blood. To the blood of the Lamb. Oba sheki anana. Oh, from the sprinkled blood and from the blood of the Lamb, do we receive even strength now? Do we receive, oh God, dominion over the flesh? As we give it dominion, you give us dominion. Oh my God. As we give your blood dominion, you give us dominion. As we give it dominion, you give us dominion, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We receive dominion over the flesh. We receive dominion dominion over evil in our bloodline and our DNA. We receive dominion over the evil in the land. We receive dominion even over the evil in the church and Christendom, oh God. In the name of Jesus. And we leave this place, God, free. Liberated by the voice and the glory of your blood. And we leave this place knowing that we are sealed in this glory stream. For we have given the blood of Yeshua, the blood of Jesus, the Lamb of God, total, complete, and irrevocable dominion. In the name of Jesus, it is so, and so it is. See any prayer requests before we go? Mm. We saw that there's healing in his blood. There's healing in his blood. There's healing in his blood. When we give a dominion, there's healing. Supernatural healing. Supernatural healing. Supernatural healing in the blood of Jesus. Jesus, it is so critical that we give it dominion. There is healing. Some healing can only come through the blood. I don't know what's plaguing your bloodline. What's plaguing your heart? What's plaguing your mind? What's plaguing your region? But there's a realm of healing. God wants to release healing glory that's only contained in his blood oh god oh god oh god my god my god my god come on come on come on come on zion shake it we have so many prayer requests for healing We've been laying ourselves out and praying and fasting, but I take every prayer request now. Monday, Kira Bahasi, that's in the prayer box. Yetora Bahasi, that's in the inbox. Every prayer request that's been written and emailed and texted. Reba Sotora Mandarahasi, and God, I bring it to your healing stream that's in your blood. God, I bring it, oh God. I give your blood dominion over every sickness and every prayer request for healing right now in the name of Jesus. Take total dominion. Over the bloodline. Take total dominion, God. Shitora Mandara Hasi were the machine, oh God. Mandora has Kima Sokorama is breathing for them. Take total dominion where a machine, oh God, is causing kidney function. Take total dominion by your blood and heal. I've seen you take people off of dialysis. Take total dominion, oh God, where your people are on life support. We give your blood total dominion over everybody on life support, over every family member and friend on life support. Take dominion, blood of Jesus. There's life in your blood and there's healing in your your blood. Let the life and healing glory in your blood begin to touch God, every organ, 
May up, see every physical body and every organ. Let it touch the disease. Let it touch the deprived. Mandora hasi the dying God. Ramandara haseki. Oh my God. They both sit there. People walking around with kidneys that are not even functioning properly that don't know it. God, give the bodies of your people dominion. I want to speak to those who are having eye problems. And the enemy is trying to take the vision and the eyesight of your people. Where diabetes has taken dominion over the bodies of your people, we renounce and rebuke that dominion right now in the name of Jesus. And we give the blood of the Lamb dominion over the bodies of your people. We take dominion, blood of Jesus, over diabetes and kidney failure. Take dominion, blood of Jesus over hearts, 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 heart failure, heart failure, take dominion blood of Jesus, Ramanda has to over digestive, oh God, Ramanda, we're praying for a young man right now, Ramanda this has a diagnosis, a digestive diagnosis, Ramanda, that is terminal, Makiana, take dominion, God over every terminal diagnosis, blood of Jesus, take dominion. Namaha, see from your healing, rebo and life giving stream, God of glory, that's in your blood. Let it access their bodies now, let their bodies access it now, and let it supernaturally disarm that sickness and that diagnosis. That has taken dominion over their bodies in the name of Jesus. Your glory streams of healing are flowing. Shera bahasi andoro hose. Sidana mahasi tora mandera hasi lupus. Sickle cell karamandara la bahashi kiti anaha. Tora cancer, 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 cancer. Pediatric cancers, blood cancers, lymphomas. Koramande kera bahasi. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, that your blood has taken dominion and will continue to take dominion. And God, because of that, we are loosed from the reach. We are shielded and protected from the reach of the evil one. Thank you for this realm of glory, for this access of glory. By way of your blood, we rest now, O oh God, and continue to give dominion to your blood. And it will work for us as we sleep, while we're awake, as we come and go, in every situation, in all areas. We will see the weight and the power of giving dominion to the blood of Jesus, testimony after testimony to the glory of our God, our Savior, our Messiah, Jesus. And it is so, in Jesus' mighty name, God bless you and keep you. Hamasa Tarapahasi, Shabbat Shalom, people of God.